Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy SBX and this is another horoscope of the month. This time we're going to talk about Gemini's. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is their month between May the 22nd through June the 21st, if I'm correct. But I'm doing this video because, you know, Gemini's are pretty cool my book and also you know like i said it's their month so let me get go ahead and get it started here you know i'm gonna always gonna talk about the pros and cons about this zodiac side so the thing is about gemini's though is that they're the third sign of the zodiac and this sign is an air sign and what you see here like the number two like the roman number two and also the twins and the two masks and stuff like that represents you know their personality it's like they have some type of split personality where you know they might be you know nice cool and stuff like that but they, they can be even pretty much a little bit more outrageous but kind of you know shady in a way i can't say all gemini's are bad but it's like they have a good and a bad sign. It's like the yin yang. They have the light and the darkness. So I kind of wish instead, besides just the two masks and the two twins, they could have had just the yin yang for the Gemini to represent the, you know, personalities. But this air sign is 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 come from Mercury, and Mercury is the planet of Gemini. So um. The personality of a trait that uh, Gemini carries is, is that they are most likely to be one of the most chillest, coolest people you can ever hang out with. They love to just have a good time partying, doing stuff, like, you know, talking to a few guys out there, talking to the girls, and if you're women, you're talking to the fellas or your homegirls. Or whatever you know Gemini's are down for whatever type of people where they just want some fun some fun and excitement in their life they full of adventures you know? and they love to talk their asses off they love a conversation they love good conversation talk about whatever appeals to them you know and not only that though they have a way with words though they can make any word anything that is so good they make it, you know spontaneously awesome like you know, they're good at rapping, writing poetry, singing a song, uh, and, you know, like I said, poetry as well, rap, poetry, same thing, uh, comedians, because they're funny as fuck too, and I can relate to those aspects about Gemini's, because every time that I, you know, go to a party, though, um, but a Gemini is like, yo, they like your homeboy. They like your, your home, your kinfolk, your, your cousins like that. You know what I mean? They, they, they cool like that. You know what I'm saying? You have good time, crack jokes. Like, yo, what up, nigga? What's up, bitch? You know what I'm saying? That type of nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yo, what's up, bitch? What's up, nigga? What's up, nigga? You ain't pippin' dog. Just fucking with you, nigga. What's up? You know what I'm saying? That's just how Geminis be like, you know? Like, it's just, just so full of energy that, you know, you got to keep up with, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about Gemini's, though, is like they love, like I said, they love to party. They love to have fun doing stuff that is cool. Like, you know, to them, they smoke. You know, if y'all if y'all Gemini's out there, we y'all smokers out there, smoking hookahs and smoking weed and shit like that. Gemini's are up to that shit. They love to smoke. They love to drink. They love to how y'all say turn up and have fun, get crunk or whatever, man, they be down for whatever. Anything that is so cool, Gemini's are gonna go for it. Anything that is swag or boring, they ain't down with that shit. That's the thing about Gemini, they don't like to get bored. Just like me, and I'm an Aries, you know what I mean? And I can relate to them because they like to have fun, they like to have good conversation, they like to chill, and you know, things of that sort. You know what I mean? And they, they like they like a homie to me. And of us, all the girls, it's like, you know, they kind of feel like they can fit your idea of what you want in a girl and a person and a personality. 
you know what I'm saying? If it fits the personality, it's like this, those are the types of chicks you want to get with. You know, just have fun, party, have fun, talk about whatever, crack jokes, stuff like that. You know what I mean? And it's pretty cool that they do these things like that. You know what I mean? But I never really met too much of a Gemini girl because sometimes with Geminis, with women, it's like they're smart as hell, but they, you know, they like to be a little sarcastic in a way. But now I can't disrespect every Gemini woman out there, but you know, I don't really have too much experience with them because most of the times I talk to are just, you know, Cancer girl, Taurus, uh, some Aries girls, Pisces, stuff like that. And I never really hang out with like Gemini chicks like that, you know what I mean? But the cons about, you know, Taurus, uh, not Taurus, I'm sorry, Geminis are though is that they are very, very, very nosy. They all in your ass. They actually you too many fucking questions. Even though they like to conversate and have a good time talking to you, they ask you questions like, hey, what's up, man? What you doing? How you doing? What you doing? What's that? What you do today? You know what I'm saying? They ask you so many details about your life where it shouldn't really fucking matter to you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, they like, they like a crackhead mixed with a hippie all your fuck like a police as well asking you questions about shit you know what i mean like all in your fucking business and not only that though too it's like you know gemini's are like aries in a way because they they're childish too you know what i mean they do things practical like you know they like to prank other people crack jokes and they have this i don't give a fuck i'm having fun nigga you know what i'm saying stop being a bitch and let's go type attitude you know what i'm saying and there's some times that you don't want to deal with that shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, Geminis are not really the type of people who go all into their emotion. They just want to just say, fuck it, I'm going in. I want to have fun. Fuck y'all niggas, I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it make, it, it make them seem like they're so inconsiderate for other people's feelings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But they rarely get mad. They rarely get all hyped and upset about shit. You know what I'm saying? Because when they upset, it's like, they live through the moment until they like, okay, fuck it, I want to have fun again. I want to do God knows what. That's just how they are, you know? They just like, they want to say, hey, fuck it, I'm, I'm in the mood. They want to go back to their happy mode. It's like, like I said, it's like, the, the bad side of it, it's like, they don't have any type of consideration for other people's feelings or respect people's wishes, you know what I'm saying? They just do the same thing and that really, our just you know aggravates you and it's annoying you know what i'm saying hitting you up like yo let's go to the party hey yo let's talk hey let's do this hey let's do that you know what i'm saying it's like god damn nigga that's just how you feel sometimes yo but you know what i'm saying you, you got no you got nothing but love for this dude but it's like sometimes they feel like they always want to have fun they always want things to go their way and have it that and just do god knows what you know what i'm saying but, like I said, in order for uh, a Gemini to really leave you the fuck alone, it's like you either ignore them or you just be like, come up with any motherfucking excuse saying, nah, not right now, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, or I'm not in a mood, or, you know what I'm saying, or just be fucking boring, they just leave you the fuck alone, you know what I'm saying? It's like, they don't like to be bored just like Aries. It's like boredom, it's like they kryptonite. They do not want to fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? But, other than that though, it's like, you know, sometimes with, with Geminis, they have this whole hypocritical thinking where they, they just uh, opinionate people's ideas or creations or they just their personality to the begin with. It's like one minute they say, Oh, that looks nice, or oh, you cool, or whatever. And the next is like, oh, that's lame, yo, he's lame, or this shit is lame. It's like, once again, they think for the moment, they they think about the moment. They they stuck up in their own mindset, because that's the thing with Gemini. They stuck in their own minds where they just stick with whatever they want to do until it changed and flips over to wherever they appear to be. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? It's like one moment they. Feel, they feel this in the next. They're not. They make good groupies, though. You know what I'm saying? 
one of those trendy type motherfuckers who, you know, stick with the shit. And whenever there's something new, they're going to switch to something that is better. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, you know, they are very hip type people. They like down to earth type of people too. But sometimes they have some type of misconception about certain things and morals and things of that sort. But other than that, though, you know, Gemini's are very, very creative with what they do. And they make things spontaneously fun and active where you will never have a dull moment with them at all. Like, that's how I feel with, with, with half of my Gemini guy friends is because they know how to have fun. They make things fun they make a boring thing turn fun in the end you know what i'm saying like with gemini guys it's all we talk about is just certain games you watch bitches we want to fuck and 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 you know whatever ideas pop up into mind and as far as women goes it's the same thing except the guys they want to fuck i mean they can be sexually innervated and they like sex but that doesn't mean they just go out there like like just so quick do it i mean they quick but that don't mean that they just so thirsty for the sex you know what i mean they just want to have fun they just want to chill and live for that moment like i said it's all about what they feel in the mindset you know how whatever appeals to them they go for it if it don't they ain't gonna fuck with you plain and simple but yeah though it's like you will never have a dull moment with a with a gemini at all but it's just that sometimes when it comes to serious situations, it's like they just have this I don't give a fuck mode where they just do whatever because they want to do whatever they want to do or say whatever they want to say and whatever. But to be honest, though, it's like they hide this type of, you know, insecurity, doubt and and just whatever, because they don't want to, you know, think about their emotions and stuff like that so they so indulge into just partying having good conversations talking on the phone and things of that sort but if there's a big problem that they really feel like they need time to fix they're gonna just leave and just dip out for a little while i don't know how long it will be but they will dip out to you out on you when shit goes wrong and that's the thing about that though is that you know they have this hocus pocus disappearing act type shit but they'll come back to you whenever it's convenient for them you know what i'm saying because they just feel like they don't need to be around bullshit drama because their life is not all about drama and just being sorry and feeling sorry for yourself and stuff like that because they're not so entwined into their emotions so i mean as of right now, I, that's all I can think of about Gemini's because it's like I don't really hang out or talk to them too much. But it's like I only talk to them and hit them up whenever the time is right, special occasions. But I'm not always around Gemini's all the time. And the funny thing though is that my best friend, he's a Gemini as well. And you know, they're good friends and you can be friends with them as long as possible. You know what I'm saying? That's they all about friendship and unity. But you know what I'm saying? That's, but it's just that certain traits that with Gemini's they do and they don't do. But my best friend, he's a different type of Gemini. But anywho, um, I'm done talking about this video about Gemini's. So y'all know what to do. Gemini's, let me know what I'm missing out and. What about your point of views and people who think they know about Gemini's or know about Gemini's? Please elaborate with me if I'm missing anything, details and stuff like that. And y'all already know to subscribe to my channel. So next month I will do Cancers. And, you know, I got y'all as well. So watch out for that video next month. You dig? So anyways, SBX wrapping this shit up. Thanks for watching. Peace out.